you really talking to the president? Did everyone know but me? So you are then. Uh, we'll see. They told me to be on deck right here. Mr. President, it's been a long time coming. It's been too long, sir. Oh, yes. There you go. Yes, you're on. Terry Matheson. Mr. President. It's an honor. Oh, for me, sir. Well, no, I definitely meant for me. You know, I was thinking on the flight over just how much I was looking forward to meeting you in person, considering what an important part you played in my life. One could make a pretty good case I wouldn't be president if it weren't for you. I've read the reports more than once. What you went through in Moscow, your captivity there. It's a profile in the kind of courage not many people can even imagine. And since I can't thank you publicly, apparently there are sources and methods that need to be protected. I, I, I wanted to do so now, privately, face to face. I don't know what to say. No, you don't have to say anything. I'm just glad you're here to witness this thing that you helped set in motion. This ending of a war. The longest in our history. Kind of amazing. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I, uh, I want you to let me know the minute you get back to Washington. I want to set up something in the White House for you, if you're open to that. Mr. President? Uh, what's going on, sir? Oh, sorry. More need to know. The last leg of the journey. President Daoud and I will be flying up to a combat post to announce the peace to the soldiers on the front line who will be going home. And JSOC signed off on it? <laughs> First, they whined like hell. It was up to those guys. I wouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> Mr. President, are you ready? Ready, Chief. Decoy. I should have known.